Hey, what's up my friends? It's Steve from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for NBA here for you today on Sunday, January 14th, 2024. We have NBA player prop spreads predictions here for you today. We got four picks that are great value bets for this Sunday NBA slate. As always, we'd just like to thank you guys all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys check us out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at Straight Fire Picks for more picks and content. Also, drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section as well. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. Include your pick in the video if it hits. Also, check out our Discord page as well. Uh, it's absolutely free to do so. You get access to more picks, chat, and stuff like that. Definitely a great resource to take advantage of. A couple quick announcements, guys. we got a live stream coming up tonight for the Lions-Rams game. Watch party with game audio, so uh, be sure to come check us out for that. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun uh, with that. We'll also have our NFL Best Bets video for Monday coming out at 8 p.m. as well. And we already have our NFL Best Bets video for today out, so be sure to check that out that pinned at the end of this video. All right, guys, quick shout-out to our Straight Fire MVPs. You see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. If you guys are interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there's a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and description for that. Great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. Um, some perks you get with that, you get access to our plays early, which is definitely a great value add. A lot of these lines end up moving, um, so you guys can get them early. It's definitely worth doing that. You also get a custom roll color in the Discord, badge next to your name, um, custom emojis, and things of that nature. Like I said, great way to support the channel as well. Best part, though, is the picks being posted early, and you also get access to all our notes as well. It's in the community tab for our members. So, uh, without further ado, let's do a recap of yesterday. We brought out the broom, guys. We got the 3-0 sweep. We actually got a 7-0 sweep across the channel because we swept NFL as well with a 4-0 in the NFL and a 3-0 in the NBA. Absolutely great day uh, for us here at the channel, guys, um, on Saturday, which is what we love to see, right? So we have Paulo Bonchero under 29 and a half points. He finishes with 20. Easy cash on that. Um, now I'm trying to think. <laughs> we had the Utah Jazz money line cashed easily on that. They won going away late. And then Chris Middleton under four and a half rebounds. He finishes with three. Two of those were plus money too. We had CJ McCollum over eight and a half rebounds and assists. He didn't end up playing, so that bet got voided. But in the NFL, we also went 4 0 as well. So we're 24 and 6 in our last 30 NBA picks. Technically 28 and 6 for the week. We're on an absolute heater here at the channel. So let's keep that rolling today. Let's get after it. We didn't have any comment cappers that I saw in the chat that hit. Um, it was a quiet day as far as that goes. But let's get back after today, guys. Let's get this 4 0 sweep. So let's get right into our picks here. And number one, we got Damian Lillard under 7.5 assists here for the Milwaukee Bucks. Minus 113 odds on Fandle. So, guys, we've seen Damian Lillard go under in six out of his last 10 games, seven out of his last 10 at home. Um, Kings here allowing the eighth fewest assists to point guards. So, this isn't like the best matchup for Lillard as far as assists go. He hasn't played the Kings in over a year, um, but he did used to hit the over versus the Kings. But obviously, this is a different Kings team um, in the way they're constructed. So, point guards, though, guys, seven and one to, to their personal assist line under with a line five and a half or greater over the last eight. Uh, so it's obviously very good. So basically, point guards that are true point guards that have real assist lines. That, there's some guys that have assist lines of one and a half that are hitting the over, but that, I'm not going to count those. Those are ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so guys that have a line basically five and a half or greater have hit this under in seven of the last eight. So we do like seeing we do like seeing that. Over the last eight games, we've seen Damian Lillard average just 8.8 .8 potential assist opportunities, which means he essentially would need to convert all of those potential assist opportunities to hit the over here because uh, his line, like I said, is 7.5. So um, obviously that's not something that usually happens hardly ever. Um, I don't anticipate that happening here um, in this matchup here with the Kings. Um, you know, this could be more of a game where you're going to see assists coming from Giannis and things like that. I just don't see you know, lower getting a lot of assist. Um, like I said, it might be a better matchup from the score, but not to get assist. So, love it there, guys, for our number one pick. We got Damian Lillard, under 7.5 assist here for the Milwaukee Bucks. Minus 113 odds on FanDuel. Okay, and at number two, we got Aaron Gordon, over 20.5 points and rebounds. Minus 104 odds here on FanDuel. Guys, we've only seen Gordon go over in four of the last 10 games, five of the last 10 at home, but he's actually 11 out of 17 for the year at home. Because uh, he cashed in the previous six before that. 
So I, I think he's got a great chance here to go over. Um, most of that is, is he has had success at home. 11 out of 17 is pretty decent. Um, but mostly this is all about the matchup, right? Pacers allow the most points and the 10th most rebounds to power forward. So that's really what we're talking about here. His last two game logs versus the Pacers, he's absolutely crushed this line with logs of 34 and 33. Uh, so I definitely think he can get 21. Uh, this is a very reasonable low number, which is what we like to see. And I think, for the record, I think the Pacers could keep this game close. I really do. The Pacers have been playing really good basketball, um, even without Halbert. So I think they keep this game competitive, so won't lose minutes here on Gordon, which is really the big thing uh, that we think about with a bet like this. This is the matchup we want, right? Great matchup here with the Pacers. Like I said, most points, 10th most rebounds, power forwards. And this is an advantageous position for Aaron Gordon. Uh, you'd much rather take him at home at this point than on the road. He's averaging 21.7 points and rebounds at home for the year. So that's pretty solid overall. It's above this line. Uh, like I said, I think he'll have a great chance here to hit this over. And um, this is the positional matchup that we're looking for. So love it there, guys, for our number two pick. We got Aaron Gordon over 20.5 points and rebounds, minus 104 odds here on FanDuel. Okay, and at number three, along the similar lines of what we just talked about with Aaron Gordon, it's kind of a sneaky one. We got Bam Adebayo over 11.5 rebounds here for the Miami Heat. Minus 110 odds on DraftKings. Once again, Adebayo only over in four of his last 10, but he's had 11 plus rebounds in nine of the last 10. Um, so in five of those that he missed, he had 11 rebounds. I think the matchup here pushes him over that mark, right? Uh, so he's consistently getting about 11. I think with this matchup with the Hornets, we'll send him over that mark. We've seen him go over in his last two home games versus the Hornets with logs of 15 and 14. Very much along the same lines of what we talked about with Aaron Gordon. This is about the matchup and his history versus the team, right? He's gotten this done versus the Hornets, like I said, in his last two home games with 15 and 14. He is averaging 18.6 rebound chances per game, which isn't that bad. You know, over his last nine games, that's a 12.1 rebound per game average. Uh, so that's what we want to see. I mean, he's above the line, which I do like seeing that, and a very, very good matchup. The Hornets here allow the second most rebounds to centers. Um, and I think with the Heat here being at home, I think he'll have a great chance here to go over and hit this over with ease. And that's what we're hoping for anyway. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, it's it's about the matchup. It's about the history versus the team. Um, advantageous situation here for Adebayo. So love it there, guys, for number three pick. We got Bam Adebayo over 11.5 rebounds here for the Miami Heat. Minus 110 odds on DraftKings. Okay, and finally at number four, love this one, guys. We got some plus value here. We got the Minnesota Timberwolves money line here versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Plus 110 odds on DraftKings. So, guys, we know Timberwolves have been one of the best teams this year. Um, defensively is really where they've shined so far this season. Um, and that's why, particularly being at home, I know the Clippers are tough. Clippers are healthy. They're tough. Uh, they're really not. They're playing pretty solid basketball, particularly offensively. You're seeing the Clippers second in offensive efficiency on the road. They've been very good. Um, it's hard to deny that. But the Timberwolves are first in defensive efficiency at home. So when um, two immovable forces meet, you know what's going to happen. I think the defense wins here, though, particularly being at home. Um, I like. I, lo I honestly do love this Timberwolves team. Like I said, particularly being at home. They won two of the last three meetings uh, last year, two of the three meetings last year. Now, of course, the team's different with uh, James Harden on the team. Uh, but I love what Minnesota's doing. They're 9-6-2 at home against the spread, but they're 2-0 with a 15 plus 15.8 15 spread differential as a home underdog. So, you know, when they've been a home underdog, they've performed very well, which they are in this spot, about two-point underdogs at home. Clippers 9-9 and against the spread on the road. Um... Clippers 18th in defi defensive efficiency on the road. Like I said, Timberwolves first. Uh, offensively, Clippers second in offensive efficiency on the road. Wolves 23rd in offensive efficiency at home. So really, this is about defense for the Timberwolves and offense for the Clippers. Um, so I think being on the road, though, I think they could slow this um, this Clippers team down. Obviously, it's not an easy task when you're talking about Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, James Harden. You can bring Westbrook off the bench, Norman Powell, all these guys that uh, are great contributors and really uh, great offensive players. But I think the Timberwolves get it done today, guys. I love them defensively. I love them at home. So I love it there, guys, for a number four pick. We got the Minnesota Timberwolves. Money line here versus the Clippers, plus 110 odds on DraftKings. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Like I said, a couple quick announcements here. Uh, we'll have our live stream going live. I believe that game actually starts at 7.30 Eastern time. I have to look at this. Uh, so we'll probably go live a little bit before the game. 
about 7.15 or so, or closer, a little bit closer to kickoff. But I'm a diehard Lions fan, so I want to enjoy watching that game with you guys and have a chance to talk with you guys and stuff like that. Um, and we also have all our NFL Best Bets videos out as well. NFL Best Bets wildcard video for Sunday. We've got three picks in that video. Should have three or four picks for Monday's video as well. I'll be po posting that later around 8 p.m. tonight. We just went 4-0 in the NFL yesterday too, guys. 7-0, 7-0 across the channel yesterday. We're on an absolute heater. Uh, things, it's been a very blessed week. Like I said, 28-6 uh, here at the channel in the last week. Absolutely unreal. And um, like I said, I appreciate all of you guys' support. It's been a great week. Uh, so... Like I said, though, if you guys are interested in getting those plays early, check out our Straight Fire MVP program. Like I said, also a great way to support what we do here at the channel. If you guys have done well and want to give like a little tip bonus, that's a great way to do that as well. You guys don't have to do that. I'm just saying it's it's a it's a great resource as well. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time. Peace out.